Yeah, because this is moving at about 70 miles per hour. So here it goes down in the southeast, and we'll put it at about that speed right there. And now you're looking at Dobson and Leander and Denver all right now, and then uh, Whitaker and Hager Hill and Dawkins and East Point, and then eventually Van Leer at 313. Screaming through there, 70 miles per hour with that strong wind. Uh, we would really like to get any reports that you have of damage. We would also like if you are awake, if you're a night owl, if you're an early morning person. Whoa, there we took a big power hit. Wow, hold it. Okay, I just saw all kinds of power shots all across the west end. And so we know now that we're going to have power outages around Huntington. Hi, everybody. Once again, Spencer Atkins here with you in the Weather Lab. And uh, we've been getting some phone calls. We know people are up now. And uh, again, our purpose is not here to scare you, but to inform you. So here's what's going on. We do have a line of severe storms that's now already pressed its way through Huntington. It's going to make its way now into the Putnam County area. It's also going to continue its way on toward Charleston. And what we're dealing with here is a gust front. A gust front is uh, very basically a line of wind that comes down, hits the ground, and splashes out ahead of that line. Okay, and then it can create all kinds of havoc out in front of it because it's picking up momentum as it comes down and hits and gets all squirrely when it hits the ground. It can twist and turn many, many different directions. So we're looking at possible wind issues here right along I-77 and stretching over from Ravenswood on to Ripley and all the way down through Charleston. And this is going to happen now in the course of about 15, 20 minutes. It is possible that we could have some trees come down, some branches come down, could have some power outages. If you're up right now and kind of, you know, you still have the power on, I would find maybe my watch or I would find a cell phone with an alarm on it just in case the power goes out. Because once this goes by, you get a chance to maybe go back to sleep for about an hour or two here before maybe you have to get up and go to work real early. That's now, this look, at, look at things coming back online, too, how that happened. This was all lit up. Everything in this foreground was just lit up, and everything out here in the distance was lit up, too. And then all of a sudden, this all just went black. So you can see power outages just happening. And now they're kind of rolling back on here. Some of the streetlights coming back on.